Jean-Paul Gustave Ricoeur, French, Icoy, the 27th of February 1913 to the 20th of May 2005, was a French philosopher best known for combining phenomenological description with hermeneutics. As such, his thought is within the same tradition as other major hermeneutic phenomenologists, Edmund Husserl and Hans Georg Gadamer. In 2000, he was awarded the Kyoto Prize in Arts and Philosophy for having revolutionized the methods of hermeneutic phenomenology, expanding the study of textual interpretation to include the broad yet concrete domains of mythology, biblical exegesis, psychoanalysis, theory of metaphor, and narrative theory. Life Paul Ricoeur was born in 1913 in Valence, Drome, France, to Léon. Jules Ricoeur, the 23rd of December 1881 to the 26th of September 1915, and Florentine Favre, the 17th of September 1878 to the 3rd of October 1913, who were married on December 30, 1910, in Lyon. He came from a family of devout Huguenots, French Protestants, a religious minority in France. Paul's father Jules, who served as a sergeant in the 75th Infantry Regiment of the French Army during World War I, went missing in Perse Les Hurlis near the beginning of the Second Battle of Champagne September 25 to November 6, 1915. On September 26, 1915, French military authorities declared that Jules had probably been killed in the battle. His body wasn't found until 1932, when a field was being plowed, and the body was identified by its tags. Some writers have stated that before World War I began, Paul's father Leon Jules Ricoeur was a professor of English at the Lycée Émile Lubit in Valence. However, it was a different person—Jules Paul Ricoeur 1887-1918—who held that position. Paul's father's death occurred when Paul was only two years old. Subsequently, Paul was raised in Rennes, France by his paternal grandparents Louis Ricoeur (1856–1932) and his wife Marie Saradet (1856–1928), and by his father's sister Juliette Adèle Ricoeur (December 20, 1892–1968), with a small stipend afforded to Paul as a war orphan. Paul, whose penchant for study was fueled by his family's Protestant emphasis on Bible study, was bookish and intellectually precocious. He discovered philosophy while attending the Lycée de Rennes, now Lycée Émile Zola de Rennes, where he studied under Roland Dalby's (1893–1976), who was professor of philosophy at the Lycée. Ricoeur received his bachelor's degree in 1932 from the University of Rennes and began studying philosophy, and especially phenomenology, at the Sorbonne in 1933–34, where he was influenced by Gabriel Marcel. In 1934 he completed a day thesis Diplôme d'études supérieures, roughly equivalent to an MA thesis titled Probleme de Dieu chez Le Schlier et Lagno The Problem of God in Le Schlier and Lagno, concerning some of the theological views of French philosophers Jules Le Schlier and Jules Lagno in 1935, Paul was awarded the second highest aggregation mark in the nation for philosophy, presaging a bright future. On August 14, 1935, in Rennes, Paul married Simone Leyes October 23, 1911 to January 7, 1998, with whom he had five children, Jean-Paul born January 15, 1937, Marc born February 22, 1938, Noël born November 30, 1940, Olivier July 10, 1947 to March 22, 1986, and Etienne born 1953. In 1936–37, he fulfilled his military service, World War II interrupted Ricoeur's career, and he was drafted to serve in the French army in 1939. His unit was captured during the German invasion of France in 1940 and he spent the next five years as a prisoner of war in Offlog ed. His detention camp was filled with other intellectuals such as Michel Dufresne, who organized readings and classes sufficiently rigorous that the camp was accredited as a degree-granting institution by the Vichy government. During that time he read Karl Jaspers, who was to have a great influence on him. He also began a translation of Edmund Husserl's Ideas I. Ricoeur taught at the University of Strasbourg between 1948 and 1956, the only French university with a Protestant faculty of theology. In 1950, he received his state doctorate, submitting as is customary in France, two theses, a minor 
Thesis translating Husserl's ideas I into French for the first time, with commentary, and a major thesis that he published the same year as Philosophie de la Volonté I, Le Volontaire et l'Involontaire Philosophy of the Will I, The Voluntary and the Involuntary. Recur soon acquired a reputation as an expert on phenomenology, then the ascendant philosophy in France. In 1956, Recur took up a position at the Sorbonne as the chair of general philosophy. This appointment signaled Recur's emergence as one of France's most prominent philosophers. While at the Sorbonne, he wrote three works that cemented his reputation, Fallible Man and the Symbolism of Evil published in 1960, and Freud and Philosophy, an essay on interpretation published in 1965. Jacques Derrida was an assistant to Recur during that time early 1960s, from 1965 to 1970, Recur was an administrator at the newly founded University of Nanterre in suburban Paris. Nanterre was intended as an experiment in progressive education, and Recur hoped that he could create a university in accordance with his vision, free of the stifling atmosphere of the tradition-bound Sorbonne and its overcrowded classes. Nevertheless, Nanterre became a hotbed of protest during the student uprisings of May 1968 in France. Recur was derided as an old clown, vieux clown, and tool of the French government. Disenchanted with French academic life, Recur taught briefly at the Université Catholique de Louvain in Belgium, before taking a position at the Divinity School of the University of Chicago, where he taught from 1970 to 1985. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1971. His study culminated in The Rule of Metaphor, Multidisciplinary Studies of the Creation of Meaning in Language published in 1975 and the three-volume Time and Narrative published in 1983, 1984, 1985 Recur gave the Gifford Lectures in 1985-86, published in 1990 as oneself as another. This work built on his discussion of narrative identity and his continuing interest in the self. Time and narrative secured Recur's return to France in 1985 as a notable intellectual. His late work was characterized by a continuing cross-cutting of national intellectual traditions, for example, some of his latest writing engaged the thought of the American political philosopher John Rawls. In 1995 he received an honorary doctorate from the National University of Kiev Mohyla Academy. In 1999, he was awarded the Balzan Prize for Philosophy, the citation being F or his capacity in bringing together all the most important themes and indications of 20th century philosophy, and re-elaborating them into an original synthesis which turns language, in particular, that which is poetic and metaphoric, into a chosen place revealing a reality that we cannot manipulate, but interpret in diverse ways, and yet all coherent. Through the use of metaphor, language draws upon that truth which makes of us that what we are, deep in the profundity of our own essence." That same year, he and his co-author André Lackig Professor Emeritus of Hebrew Bible at Chicago Theological Seminary were awarded the Gordon J. Lawing Award by the University of Chicago's Board of University Publications for their book Thinking Biblically, Exegetical and Hermeneutical Studies. On 29 November 2004, he was awarded with the second John W. Kluge Prize for Lifetime Achievement in the Human Sciences shared with Yaroslav Pelikan. Recur died on 20 May 2005 at his home in Châtenay Malabry, France, of natural causes. French Prime Minister Jean-Pierre Raffarin declared that, "...the humanist European tradition is in mourning for one of its most talented exponents." Paul Ricoeur was buried in the Châtenay Malabry New Cemetery, Châtenay Malabry, Department des Hautes de Seine, Ile de France, France. Topic: Thought. Topic: Hermeneutic phenomenology. One of Ricoeur's major contributions to the field of hermeneutics was the entwining of hermeneutical processes with phenomenology. In this union, Recur applies the hermeneutical task to more than just textual analysis, but also to how each self relates to anything that is outside of the self. For Recur, hermeneutics is understanding the link between the self and the symbol—neither things in themselves, but the dialectical engagement between the two. Moreover, Recur, on the goal of hermeneutics, puts emphasis upon self-understanding as the outcome of the hermeneutical process. In proposing to relate symbolic language to self-understanding, I think I fulfill the deepest wish of hermeneutics. 
The purpose of all interpretation is to conquer a remoteness, a distance between the past cultural epoch to which the text belongs and the interpreter himself. By overcoming this distance, by making himself contemporary with the text, the exegete can appropriate its meaning to himself, foreign, he makes it familiar, that is, he makes it his own. It is thus the growth of his own understanding of himself that he pursues through his understanding of others. Every hermeneutics is thus, explicitly or implicitly, self-understanding by means of understanding others." Recur maintains that the hermeneutical task is a coming together of the self and an other, in a meaningful way. This explication of self-meaning and other meaning is principally bound up and manifested in existence itself. Thus, Recur depicts philosophy as a hermeneutical activity seeking to uncover the meaning of existence through the interpretation of phenomena which can only emerge as embedded in the world of culture. This is why philosophy remains a hermeneutics, that is, a reading of the hidden meaning inside the text of the apparent meaning. It is the task of this hermeneutics to show that existence arrives at expression, at meaning, and at reflection only through the continual exegesis of all the significations that come to light in the world of culture. Existence becomes a self, human and adult, only by appropriating this meaning, which first resides outside, in works, institutions, and cultural movements in which the life of the spirit is justified. Furthermore, the process of hermeneutics, and extracting meaning, is a reflective task. The emphasis is not on the external meaning, but the meaning or insight of the self which is gained through encountering the external text—or other. The self-knowledge gained through the hermeneutical process is, thus, indirectly attained. This is in opposition to the Cartesian cogito, which grasps itself directly in the experience of doubt, and is, a truth as vain as it is invincible. Quote, in point of fact, the difference Recur aims to distinguish is the means by which the self is discovered, which for him is only by means of interpreting the signified. According to Recur, the aim of hermeneutics is to recover and to restore the meaning. The French philosopher chooses the model of the phenomenology of religion, in relation to psychoanalysis, stressing that it is characterized by a concern on the object. This object is the sacred, which is seen in relation to the profane. Recur's hermeneutical work Freud and Philosophy contains the famous assertion that Karl Marx, Friedrich Nietzsche, and Sigmund Freud are masters of the school of suspicion. Du soupçon, école du soupçon. Marx is reductionist, because he reduces society to economy, particularly to means of production. Nietzsche is a reductionist, because he reduces man to an arbitrary concept of Superman. Freud is a reductionist because he reduces human nature to sexual instinct. Topic philosophy of language in the rule of metaphor and in time and narrative, Volume 1, Recur argues that there exists a linguistic productive imagination that generates, regenerates meaning through the power of metaphoricity by way of stating things in novel ways and, as a consequence, he sees language as containing within itself resources that allow it to be used creatively. Topic works Gabriel Marcel et Carl Jaspers Philosophie du mystère et philosophie du paradox Gabriel Marcel and Carl Jaspers, Philosophy of Mystery and Philosophy of Paradox in French, Paris, Temps Présent, 1947. History and Truth, Trans. Charles A. Kelbley. Evanston, Northwestern University Press, 1965-1955. Freedom and Nature, The Voluntary and the Involuntary, Trans. Arazim Kohak. Evanston, Northwestern University Press, 1966-1950. Husserl, An Analysis of His Phenomenology. Northwestern University Studies in Phenomenology and Existential Philosophy. Evanston, Northwestern University Press, 1967 The Symbolism of Evil, Trans. Emerson Buchanan. New York, Harper and Row, 1967 1960. Entretien sur l'art et la psychanalyse sous la direction de André Burge, Anne Clancier, Paul Ricoeur et Lothair Rubinstein, Paris, La Haye, Mouton, 1968 Le conflit des interprétations. Essays d'hermeneutique I, Le Seuil, 1969. Freud and Philosophy, an essay on interpretation, trans. Dennis Savage. New Haven, Yale University Press, 1970-1965. The Conflict of Interpretations, Essays in Hermeneutics, ed. Don id, trans. Willis Domingo et al. Evanston, Northwestern University Press, 1974-1969. Political and Social Essays, ed. 
David Stewart and Joseph Bien, trans. Donald Stewart et al. Athens, Ohio University Press, 1974. The Rule of Metaphor, Multidisciplinary Studies of the Creation of Meaning in Language, trans. Robert Cherney with Kathleen McLaughlin and John Costello, S.J., London, Routledge and Keegan Paul 1978-1975. Interpretation Theory, Discourse and the Surplus of Meaning. Fort Worth, Texas Christian Press, 1976. Pataka, Philosopher and Resistor. Telos 31, Spring 1977. New York, Telos Press. The Philosophy of Paul Ricoeur, an anthology of his work, ed. Charles E. Reagan and David Stewart. Boston, Beacon Press, 1978. Essays on Biblical Interpretation Philadelphia, Fortress Press, 1980. Hermeneutics and the Human Sciences, Essays on Language, Action and Interpretation, ed. Trans. John B. Thompson. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, 1981. Time and Narrative, Temps et Raket, 3 vols. Trans. Kathleen McLaughlin and David Pellauer. Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1983, 1984, 1985. Lectures on Ideology and Utopia, ed. Trans. George H. Taylor. New York, Columbia University Press, 1985. Du texte à l'action. Essays d'Hermenoutique II, Le Seuil, 1986. From Text to Action, Essays in Hermeneutics II, Trans. Kathleen Blamey and John B. Thompson. Evanston, Northwestern University Press, 1991-1986. A l'école de la phénoménologie. Paris, JVRIN, 1986. Le Mal, un défi à la philosophie et à la théologie. Geneva, Labour et Fides, 1986. Fallible Man, Trans. Charles A. Kelbley, with an introduction by Walter J. Lowe, New York, Fordham University Press, 1986-1960. A Recur Reader, Reflection and Imagination, ed. Mario J. Valdez. Toronto, University of Toronto Press, 1991. Lectures I, Autour du Politique. Paris, Sewell, 1991. Lectures II, La Contre des Philosophies. Paris, Sewell, 1992. One Self as Another SOI Meme Come Un Autre, Trans. Kathleen Blamey. Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 1992-1990. Lectures 3, Aux Frontiers de la Philosophie. Paris, Sewell, 1994. Reflection Fête. Autobiography Intellectual. Esprit, 1995. The Philosophy of Paul Ricoeur, ed. Louis E. Hahn, The Library of Living Philosophers 22, Chicago, La Salle, Open Court, 1995. The Just, Trans. David Pellauer. Chicago, University of Chicago Press, 2000, 1995. Critique and Conviction, Trans. Kathleen Blamey. New York, Columbia University Press, 1998, 1995. Thinking Biblically, with Andre Lackick. University of Chicago Press, 1998. La Memoir, La Histoire, Lubli. Paris, Sewell, 2000. Le Just II, Paris, Esprit, 2001. Between Suspicion and Sympathy, Paul Ricoeur's Unstable Equilibrium, André Wierczynski. Toronto, The Hermeneutic Press, 2003. Memory, History, Forgetting, Trans, by Kathleen Blamey and David Pellauer. University of Chicago Press, 2004. The Course of Recognition, Trans. David Pellauer. Harvard University Press, 2005. Reflections on the Just, Trans. David Pellauer. University of Chicago Press, 2007. Living Up to Death, Trans. David Pellauer. University of Chicago Press, 2009. Topic. See also. Metaphor in philosophy Postmodern Christianity Theopoetics Esprit Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Sources Francois Doss. Paul Ricoeur. Les sens d'une vie. 
Paris, La Découverte, 1997. 2014, Castoriadis. Une vie, a life in French, Paris, La Découverte. David M. Kaplan, 2003. Recurs Critical Theory. Albany, Sunni Press. Ed. 2008, Reading Recur, Albany, Sunni Press. Charles E. Reagan, 1996. Paul Recur, His Life and Work. Chicago, University of Chicago Press. John Cesar. Sassing. Calum Nawener Life in Encantadia. Tagum, University of Blood Washed Band. Topic. Further reading Buxton id, 1971. Hermeneutic Phenomenology, The Philosophy of Paul Ricoeur. Evanston, Northwestern University Press. David E. Clem, 1983. The Hermeneutical Theory of Paul Ricoeur, A Constructive Analysis. Lewisburg, PA, Bucknell University Press. Pamela Sue Anderson, 1993. Recur and Kant, Philosophy of the Will. Atlanta, Scholars Press. Bernard P. Dauenhauer, 1998. Paul Recur, The Promise and Risk of Politics. Boulder, Roman and Littlefield. Richard Carney, ed., 1996. Paul Recur, The Hermeneutics of Action. Sage. Karuvala Pandakatu, 2000. Idols to Die, Symbols to Live, Dynamic Interaction Between Language, Reality, and the Divine. New Delhi, Intercultural Publications. Henry Isaac Venema, 2000. Identifying Selfhood, Imagination, Narrative, and Hermeneutics in the Thought of Paul Ricoeur McGill Studies in the History of Religions, Sunni Press. Dan Stiver, 2001. Theology after Ricoeur, Louisville, Westminster John Knox Press. Carl Sims, 2002. Paul Ricoeur, Routledge Critical Thinkers. New York, Routledge. Gregory J. Lockery, 2002. Living Hermeneutics in Motion, An Analysis and Evaluation of Paul Ricoeur's Contribution to Biblical Hermeneutics. Lanham, University Press of America. Richard Carney, 2004. On Paul Ricoeur, The Owl of Minerva. Hans, England, Ashgate. Salvioli, Marco, 2006. Il Tempo e la Parole. Ricoeur e Derrida. Margin. Della Phenomenologia. ESD, Bologna. W. David Hall, 2007. Paul Ricoeur and the Poetic Imperative. Albany, Sunni Press. Gaela Fiasi, 2008. Paul Ricoeur. De l'homme failable à l'homme capable. Paris, Presses Universitaires de France. Alison Scott Bowman, 2009. Ricoeur and the Hermeneutics of Suspicion. Continuum. Frederick Jameson, 2009. The Valences of History. In Valences of the Dialectic. London and New York, Verso, 475-612. Larissa Sersel, ed. Übersetzung und Hermeneutik, Traduction et Hermeneutik. Zeta Series in Translation Studies 1, Bucharest, Zeta Books 2009, ISBN 978-973-199-706-3 Paperback, 978-973-1997-07-0 E-Book. Boyd Blundell, 2010. Paul Recur Between Theology and Philosophy, Detour and Return. Bloomington, Indiana, Indiana University Press. Hagig Alley, 2011. Paul Recur and the Challenge of Semiology. Sarbrucken, VDM Verlag Dr. Muller. William C. Dowling, 2011. Recur on Time and Narrative, An Introduction to Temps et Reset. Notre Dame, University of Notre Dame Press online excerpt. Francis J. Moots III and George H. Taylor, eds. 2011. Gadamer and Recur, Critical Horizons for Contemporary Hermeneutic. Continuum. Karuvala Pandakatu, 2013. Between Before and Beyond, An Exploration of the Human Condition Inspired by Paul Recur. Pune, Creative Ventures, Articles Rutherland Jocelson. The Hermeneutics of Faith and the Hermeneutics of Suspicion. Narrative Inquiry, 14, 1-28. Gaela Fiasi, Paul Recur, Lecture d'Aristote, in Ethica Nicomac Viiix, ed. Guy Samama, Paris, Ellipses, 185-189, 2001. George H. Taylor. Recur's Philosophy of Imagination. 
Journal of French Philosophy, Vol. 16, p. 93, 2006. Gaëlle Fiasi, Paul Ricoeur et le pardon comme au delà de l'action, Laval Théologique et philosophique 63 halves 363-376, 2007. Gaëlle Fiasi, The Golden Rule and Forgiveness. In a Passion for the Possible. Thinking with Paul Ricoeur, ed. Brian Treanor and Henry Venema, Series, Perspectives in Continental Philosophy, New York, Fordham University Press, 77-89, 2010. Gaëlle Fiasi, Recurs Medical Ethics, The Encounter Between the Physician and the Patient, in Reconceiving Medical Ethics, ed., by C. Cowley, New York, Continuum Press, 30-42, 2012. Rita Felsky, Critique and the Hermeneutics of Suspicion, M. C. Journal, Vol. 15, No. 1, 2012. Gaëlle Fiasi, Recurs Hermeneutics of the Self. On the In Between of the Involuntary and the Voluntary, and Narrative Identity, Philosophy Today, 58, 39 to 51, 2014. Topic: <laughs> External Links. Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Paul Ricoeur, by Bernard Dauenhauer. Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Paul Ricoeur, by Kim Atkins. Recurs Hermeneutics Introductory Lecture by Henk de Berg, 2015 List of Principal Works by Recur Etudes Recuriens, Recur Studies The Society for Recur Studies Irish Theological Association Sebastis Chattopadhyay, Review of Evil, A Challenge to Philosophy and Theology by Paul Recur, Prabhuta Bharata, 121 6, June 2016, 529-30 Recur et Levinas, by Henri Duthu Paul Recur, a hermeneutical theologian in the Boston Collaborative Encyclopedia of Western Theology.